Hi, I have a friend who called me up on a Saturday and then he says to me, oh, Sean, could you please advise me on what to wear to your wedding? I said, yeah, absolutely, sure. Well, when is the wedding? He says to me, it's today. <laughs> For those of you that don't know me yet, I'm Sean Gordon and welcome to my YouTube channel. Here I like to explore different classical menswear style for your inspiration. And if you've not done so already, do click the like, subscribe and notification button so that you do not miss any new content. Well, what can I say? What is it with my friends? They tend to think I can work up some magic just like that. I really appreciate the confidence and the faith they have in me on this occasion. However, uh, I was expecting the answer next week. On the day, my friend walking down German Street asking me, what should I buy? What should I wear? I have a uh, grey flannel suit and I, I just don't know what to wear. And okay, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is the theme to the wedding? He says to me, Ah, oh. uh, there is no theme. Uh, I think it's going to be a bit colourful. And I said, Well, listen, the main thing is is that you do not, at any circumstances, any time, ever, ever, outshine the groom. You never do that. It's your safe bet to try and dress down, dress conservatively, so therefore the groom and the bride gets all the glory, all the centre of attention. So here were my following suggestions. It would be to dress in neutral colours and maybe add a, 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 a dash of colour, but try and keep it very tonal. So if the groom happened to be more conservatively dressed, then it's not going to be a situation where you are outshining him. Try and tend to go for something like your navies or a grey. Um, here, as you can see, I'm wearing a full uh, two-piece suit, linen, with a nice royal blue tie. It's very tonal and it also complements the white shirt. He said to me, oh, but Sean, what if everyone's not formal? I've got you covered. I said to him, we need to head somewhere and buy our button down Oxford shirt. This way you can dress it up or down. So I would suggest that you actually go to the wedding fully dressed, suit and tie, because you, my advice would be to attend to the wedding uh, formal and then get relaxed as the day goes on. Never forget the advice what my friend dad actually told me once. He said to me, Sean, wherever you go to an event, always wear your tie. And if it's an, a very relaxed event, you can always nip off to the toilets and remove a tie and put it in your inside pocket. Now that is sage advice, I say. In the course of the conversation, my friend mentioned about being a bit stuffy and he didn't, he wasn't really sure about wearing a jacket or a full suit. And I suggested to him, well, why don't you go for a look where it's maybe just a waistcoat and the tie. Hit the nice middle ground of the formalities of everything, but you're still relaxed. You still have a shirt on, you still have a tie on. And if you keep the color palette very tonal, it's very highly unlikely you do not outshine the groom. Throughout the conversation, he mentioned, well, what if I still feel a bit stuffy and formal with a waistcoat and my tie? Um, what can I do in that situation? I said, well, why not just roll the sleeves up? That will be your first point of call. Then you'll still have a more relaxed and casual aura about you. In the event, if you still feel overdressed, you can always remove the tie and unbutton your shirt. Just make sure that when you unbutton your shirt, the unbutton button did not go below the actual waistcoat, it looks a bit, no, no, no. The last result would be to remove the waistcoat, have it unbuttoned, and therefore, you cannot get any more relaxed than that, providing you're wearing formal trousers, a beautiful Oxford shirt, roll sleeves, and you're good to go. And if the event is even more relaxed than this, I think you're in a very safe place to feel very comfortable and enjoy the rest of your event. In the end, my friend decided to purchase a button-down shirt and a grenadine tie, navy blue, and keep the whole package together uh, quite neutral and understated with the intention that he may uh, go for a more relaxed aesthetic later on in the, in the day. 
Leave your comments below if you have any other tips and advice what you would have given to your friend if they, if they found themselves in this situation. And thank you once again for watching. And if you've not done so already, like, subscribe, and click the notification button so that you don't miss any more new content that I have to offer. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you.